For this series of breathing exercises, we're working with the understanding that by accessing our lungs, we're massaging the digestive system, which is located directly beneath our lungs, separated by a big round muscle called the diaphragm that lives about in the middle of your rib cage. So just to start, let's bring our hands underneath the bust line, take your fingers around there, and let's inhale and exhale, feeling the movement beneath our fingers. So moving in this area, breathing with your diaphragm is different than breathing with your shoulders or breathing with your belly. All of them are good, but because we're working with the lung action and the diaphragm in order to help our digestive system do its job, we're trying to get our primary focus around the middle of our ribs. It's going to help if we have a little bit of tension in our arms so that we have our muscles able to respond and access that. So I have a TheraBand tied in a conservative loop. It's about the same size as any band you would be wrapping around your legs. You don't have to overthink it. And if you don't have that, you could even use a yoga strap or pull on a scarf. We're going to start with just pulling it lightly apart in between our hands. And let's take a long breath in and out, feeling the breath move up and down through our spine. So you notice as the breath passes through the places where your muscles are engaged, you're a little more aware of it. There's a little more effort and maybe it slows down. All of these are things you're looking for. As you exhale, keep the pulling. You can do that a couple of times. After you've completed playing with that, move the band up around your elbows. Push the elbows slightly apart. And let's take that breath again, inhaling up and down through the spine. Notice how you feel your sternum rise up and down with your breath and also the effort with your abdomen to maintain the shape. Let your hands press lightly together. Keep pulling your elbows apart. Now we're going to try to inhale and send the band more off to the right. So hopefully that's going to help you find more air going into your right lung. Exhale, come back to center. And then inhale left. Maybe you feel some pulls down deep more on the bottom part of your, your stomach into your pelvis as we move the upper body in contrast to that. Let's repeat that one more time and try to really slow your exhalation down. Feeling that stretching between the ribs and the hips. Keep exhaling as you come to center till you squeeze it out. Whenever you need to take an easy breath in and out in between, go ahead and do so. And then we'll go to the left. Really pay attention to the feeling as you exhale. Try to keep your body still shifted slightly left. And hopefully you notice this pulling sensation in your stomach. Let's release the arms. You can just do a couple of shoulder rolls, easing out that muscle work that is ultimately so good for you. So what happens as we exhale is that the lungs return to their smallest state. They have less air in them, never zero air, but less. And the diaphragm rises up because it's connected to the lungs because it's also connected to your digestive system, it pulls up on those organs. And that's why you got that stretching, pulling feeling as you are exhaling. We're going to use that now to help massage your digestive system, getting everything moving more efficiently, which is a great thing to do before you eat and also a few hours after you eat.
I don't recommend doing it right after you eat, but like the morning after you've had a big meal, these are great things to do. In the yoga practice, this practice is called Nali or Uddiyana Bandha. What I'm delivering to you here are some great preps I've found that make the whole, the whole program of accessing the inside of your body so much easier to find. I call it dry breathing. So what you'll do is you'll exhale all the air out and then bring your tongue to the roof of your mouth and kind of seal off the nose and the mouth so you're not going to let yourself inhale. Then we're going to do some movements with our body so we can start to pick up our own organs and restore their natural range of motion. We're going to use the band again. So let's go ahead and just take it back around the elbows. You can bring your hands to your knees. And you're going to push your elbows slightly out. Inhale here, exhale everything, seal it off, and then start to lift your sternum up beyond your arms and then bring it back about four times. When you have to inhale, go ahead and inhale gently. And let's repeat that. It's pretty normal at first to notice some tugging or some stuff that doesn't move. Just move in a range of motion that's comfortable for you. There's no need to push the insides of your body. Just letting it know that there's the potential for more movement in a stuck area is enough to usually have it begin to respond for you. And if you've got some food in your system as you're doing it, that might be what you're feeling in there that's not moving like the organs are. Let's try this again with our hands up above our head. So we'll inhale, take the hands up and pull the band apart. Exhale, keep them up. And now let's flex and extend our whole spine. Inhale when you need. Bring the hands down. Now your intestines wrap around the lower part of your abdomen and they go up on one side and they go down on the other side. And that's often why if you watch yogis do this stuff, they'll be rolling their stomach side to side. Here's an easy way to find that. I'm going to take the band around our legs, underneath the knees and just push the knees apart. This is going to activate the outsides of your legs and help your glutes to stay strongest. That kind of puts your pelvis in place. We're going to rotate over one side and you rotate as far as feels good for you. So some people like to have a deep twist, if that's what you like, cool. It's not necessary. Other people, it's going to be enough just to hold the center of the band and brace yourself on the same leg as arm, the way that you're turning. Other people like to hold the leg. So whatever works for you, let's go ahead and inhale, exhale all the air out. And then repeat that same up and down motion with your torso with no breath here. Other side. Finally, let's make four circles in each direction with the dry breath. You can hold in the center, create resistance however it feels good. The more your muscles are taut and responding, the deeper and the healthier this is.
Last time, other side. And then just to end with a little bit of spinal motion, roll your spine in some waves forward and back. And you can play with holding your breath or not. Feeling that push-pull that moves from your legs through your arms into your core. Come to center, free yourself from the band, and stand up, take a stretch and a breath, and see how different you feel now. <sighs> so I hope that helped. And if you'd like more, consider signing up for the December Breathing Class Series, December Essentials. It's gonna have these exercises way expanded, plus all kinds of other tools that are gonna help you through this holiday season.